assalamu alaikum dear students you know we are discussing the graphs of trigonometric functions and we discussed a sine function cos function and tan function now today we will be discussing the remaining three functions now the first one is the cot function you know that the cot is defined as cos x upon sin x cos x upon sin x and the domain for this cos and sin you know is a complete set r or the whole set r that is cos and sin are defined throughout r so this means that here in this function in cot function this cot is defined only when denominator is not equals to zero that is cot is defined for all those values where sin x is not equals to zero this means that where sin x is zero this cot is not defined but sin x is zero sin x is zero if and only if x equals to n pi so this means that when we remove or when we uh, you remove these points that is x equals to n pi from r we get the rokayo domain for this function that is domain of this cot function is r minus n pi so if we consider a function from this set that is r minus n pi to r defined by cot of x now this is the uh, domain and this is the required codomain for this function now how to draw the graph of this we will firstly draw two axes one is the x axis second one is the y axis that is the image or simply the codomain axis now here this whole set is not you know the domain for this function this cot function there are some points which we have to you know <coughs> where this function is not defined and these are n by so it is simply zero where n by means multiples of pi it is zero it is pi it is two pi from left side we have minus pi minus two pi minus three pi and so on and so forth so this means that we have to remove these points from this r that is these points are at zero at pi here we have zero this is pi this is two pi this is minus pi this is minus 2 pi so how to remove we will first we will simply you know draw the vertical x or the vertical lines through these points at these points the value of this cot cot is not defined so this means that value is either positive infinity or negative infinity that is here we have the domain point is here x when we tabulate uh, this uh, data in this uh, it is cot x which is a range element for this x when x is 0 it is not defined this means that infinity for n pi multiples of n pi that is pi minus pi 2 pi minus 2 pi here the value is simply plus minus infinity plus minus infinity also add 90 add 90 cot 90 is simply here in this cot 90 is cos 90 upon sin 90 cos 90 is 0 sin 90 is 1 that is 0 by 1 is 0 so this means that cot of 90 that is pi by 2 is 0 simply uh, similarly cot of minus 90 is also 0 cot of minus 90 is also 0 also we have this uh, we will find you know the value of this uh, function at plus minus pi by 4 that is at an angle of 45 degree pi by 4 cos pi by 4 upon sin pi by 4 is 1 so this means that cot pi by 4 is 1 similarly cot of minus pi by 4 is minus 1 because cot of minus theta is minus cot theta now we will consider this interval that is interval 0 and pi in this interval 0 and pi The value of this function is uh, 0 when x is pi by 2 that is here the point is this because it is 0 also at pi by 4 value is 1 here we have this pi by 4 the value is 1 now when we approach or the this function is not defined at infinity at 0 so this means that when we put x equals to 0 the value becomes infinity or when we approach to 0 from this side the value becomes positive infinity that is this here this means from this side we are approaching to infinity when we approach to zero similarly if we consider pi plus uh, here value which is 
3 pi by 4 here x is 3 pi by 4 the value of this function is minus 1 here minus 1 so when we join these points the graph of this in this interval is of the form of this or it is it looks like this it crosses the x axis at x equals to pi by 2 similarly in this interval in interval 0 and minus pi by 2 the graph is exactly like this while it crosses the x axis at point x equals to minus pi by 2 similarly if we consider an, another interval that is interval pi and 2 pi in this interval we have the center point is 3 pi by 4 3 pi by 2 which is you know the odd multiple of 3 pi by 2 which is odd multiple of pi by 2 and you know that at odd multiple of 3 pi by 2 the cos is 0 the value of cos is 0 so this means that here in this all interval also the crop crosses this axis at this point at pi the value is infinity because it is not defined similarly at here 2 pi the value is again infinity because it is not defined here so this means that in any interval of this type the graph of this chord function looks like this or is of the form of this it crosses at odd multiple of pi by 2 clearly from the graph the chord function zeros of our chord function the zeros are simply odd multiples of pi by 2 because here for this point at pi by 2 it crosses x axis at 3 pi by 2 it crosses x axis at minus 3 pi by 2 it costs across x axis so these are simply odd multiples of pi by 2 pi by 2 hence zeros of this function are simply 2 and plus 1 because it is odd pi into pi by 2 so this is the uh, domain and this is the graph for this function clearly from the graph the range of this chord function is whole set r because from the graph clearly if we consider this curve it approaches from positive side it approaches to plus infinity similarly on negative it approaches the y axis it approaches to minus infinity also so this means that each and every point on this r is the image point so the range is r <coughs> this is the sec function you know that sec function is defined as 1 upon cos 1 upon cos so this means that also cos is defined at each and every r this means that sec is defined only when cos is not equals to 0 but cos is cos equals to 0 equals to, is when x equals to odd multiples of pi by 2 you know it so this means that when we remove these pointers from uh, r we will get you know the required domain that is domain of sec is r minus odd multiples of pi by 2 so this is the domain domain now how to find the range you know that this uh, value of cos always lies between minus 1 and 1 that is cos is cos of x is always less or equals to 1 or for all x cos x is less or equals to 1 this means that when we In the word this it is simply 1 upon cos x is greater or equals to 1 which implies that sec x is greater or equals to 1 for all x similarly cos of x is greater or equals to minus 1 which implies that sec of x is less or equals to 1 so this means that the value of sec x for any x is either greater or equals to 1 or less or equals to 1 it is never in the interval minus 1 and 1 so this means that when we remove this open interval minus 1 and 1 from r we get the required range for this sec function that is r minus open interval minus 1 and 1 is the range for this function so this means that value of sec never lies in interval or never is greater or equals to minus 1 or less or less than 1 now how to draw the graph now we will firstly draw two axes one the x axis second one the y axis now this function is not defined at odd multiples of pi by 2 that is it is pi by 2 which is 90 it is 3 pi by 2 odd multiple of pi by 2 it is minus pi by 2 so this means that these are all odd multiples of pi by 2 now through these points we will draw the x we will draw the vertical lines 
dotted vertical lines such that these lines indicate that this point is not in the domain or the function is not defined at these points. Now, at x equals to 0, now if we consider this interval, minus pi by 2 and pi by 2, at 0, value of the sec is simply 1. So, this means that when x equals to 0, this equals to 1. Also, the range of this sec the value of this sec is uh, you know not lies in interval minus 1 and 1 so this means that value of this never lies in this now if we consider this value of this function at pi by 2 it approaches to infinity because it is not defined similarly for this point minus pi by 2 it is again here infinity in this interval 0 and pi by 2 here we have 0 here we have 0 and this is pi by 2 in between we have pi by 4 value of pi by 4 is greater than 1 so let's assume that the point is here similarly from this side point is here it is minus pi by 4 so when we join these points the graph of this functions is of the form or is of the form of this type that is u shaped like this this means here the function is not defined at minus pi by 2 and at pi by 2 the function is not defined similarly in this interval the graph is this clearly from the graph clearly from the graph the it never crosses or it never touches the x axis at any point so this means that the set of zeros for this function is simply null set because it is empty set there does not exist any point where this graph crosses or touches the x axis now the last one is the quasic function quasic is defined as a uh, sec x as one upon sin x also so this means that this quasic is defined only when sine is not equals to zero but sine is zero when x equals to n pi so this means that when we remove these points from r that is r minus n pi is the required domain you know that like uh, cos value of sine also lies between minus 1 and 1 or in the interval closed interval minus 1 and 1 cosec x is defined as 1 upon sine x like uh, sec x is defined as 1 by cos x so from that uh, concept from that way we can say that range of this cosec is always or minus open interval minus 1 and 1 that is value of co cosec is always greater or equals to 1 or less or equals to 1 less or equals to 1 it never lies in interval minus 1 and 1 so firstly we will draw the gra graph and we will locate the points where the function is not defined that is n pi on this x axis it is simply n pi minus 0 is also multiple of this it is 0 here the function is not defined add pi the function is not defined add 2 pi the function is not defined similarly we will locate these points that is minus pi and minus 2 pi where the function is not defined now we will consider this interval interval 0 and pi interval 0 and pi in this interval firstly we have this pi by 4 pi by 2 add pi by 2 co uh, sine is 1 which implies that cosec is 1 so this means that the point is this now add pi the value is infinity that is here we have to mark this as arrow similarly for 0 1 upon sine 0 is infinity that is this point now at 90 between 0 and 90 we have the standard angle as uh, pi by 4 that is 45 degree at 45 degree the value of the sec is greater than 1 that is let's assume that this point is this so when we join these points the graph is again of this type or of this form that is this so the lowest point is here one lowest point is one similarly in this interval the highest point here we have the highest because when we move downwards on the y axis the value decreases so this means that the highest point is here minus one so these are the required or this is the required graph for this quasic function now clearly from the graph the curves or the curve 
of this cosec never crosses or touches the x axis at any point so this means that again the set of zeros of this function is not equals to uh, there does not exist to any point so this means that the set of zeros is null set of the empty set so in this way we complete the graphs of this uh, these trigonometric functions inshallah in tomorrow's lecture we will discuss the corresponding exercise on this graphs of trigonometric functions so thank you